Two legendary Mets players will have their numbers retired this summer, Doc Gooden and Daryl Strawberry. New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby, who we also call a legend here all the time, he caught up with both former Mets in his weekly Q&A. Now we're going to catch up with the legend himself, Mr. Serby, on this edition of Sundays with Serby, as Steve joins me now. Steve, how are you doing? It's been really cold in the NYC, the Big Apple, lately. How are you doing? Well, why don't you come up to join me in Buffalo, then, for tonight's Bills-Chiefs game? Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. I'm going to pass on that. What I will say that I'm surprised about, right, considering right. how cold it's been and you're going to Buffalo, I'm surprised you're not uh, sporting the flannel accessory, this flannel shirt today. That's usually a staple, but I assume that it will be with you in Buffalo. The flannel is with me. Uh, it's in my uh, carry-on bag, and uh, and my trusted hoodies are with me as well, and I'll I'll be wearing them both tonight to the game. Okay, this is a staple. This is what we should expect. When you talk to a legend, they have to have legendary gear that they are sporting with them. I would expect nothing less from you, Steve. <laughs> but you got to talk to some legends this week. And I assume that both players, both guys here, Daryl Strawberry and Doc Good, and they're both thrilled about their numbers being retired, and it's got to mean a lot to them. Both players, they've always been linked with each other over the years, even after their playing days were over. What do the two mean to each other? I got to, I get the sense that they mean a lot to each other, but what do they mean to each other? Well, they mean everything to each other now. Uh, obviously, they're thrilled and excited and honored to have their jerseys retired by the Mets. I don't think there were times in their lives that neither one of them could have seen this day coming. Um, they're brothers in many ways. They, they like to call themselves brothers. Ups and downs in their relationship, but it's never been more up than it is now. And Strawberry uh, helped save Doc Gooden's life in 2019 when Doc Gooden had reached one of his rock bottoms. He visited Doc on Long Island, told him he looked like hell, told him what he needed to hear, and Doc checked himself into a mental institution in New Jersey and got himself right, and Doc is also indebted to Straw for sitting with his mother when his mother was on her deathbed, and his mother made him promise, made Strawberry promise, to look after her son, who she knew was struggling, and Strawberry promised that he would do that. And now, of course, Strawberry is a minister. He's spoken to death row convicts. Doc Gooden has spoken to youth about the evils of drugs and addiction, and Doc's in a great place right now. He's comfortable with himself. He loves himself, which he didn't hasn't in a long time, and um, he owes a lot to Strawberry, and Strawberry is in a great place as well, indebted to his wife, Tracy, and it's faith and family is what it's all about for Strawberry, and good for both of them. They both deserve this day, this moment. That's April 14th for Doc Gooden's Jersey retirement, number 16, of course, and June 1 for Daryl Strawberry, number 18. And while we're on this topic, yeah, uh, 86 Mets. Now, Daryl was on the 98, Met, uh, 98 Yankees, 86 Mets versus 98 Yankees, Dex, who wins? Yeah, man, put me on the spot. And I grew up a big Mets fan. Uh, didn't see the 86 team because I was a little too young for that. But started watching them around 88. And Doc and Darrell were the reason I fell in love with baseball and, and started watching the Mets. I got to go. I think the talent on that 88 team was fantastic for the Mets. But we know that obviously it did not end in the way that many people thought they would. That 98 Yankees team, just too strong. I think two together, too good. And I know it's going to pain the Mets fans out there, but I think the 98 Yankees team wins that one. I think they take that one. Well, weren't you a Mets fan in the 80s? Yeah, I was. I, I was. The beginning of my Mets fandom was in the 80s. I was just young. I was, I was only five years old at the time. 88. 88. Yeah, what do you remember about that 88 team? Now, D Darryl thinks mm -hmm. that 88 team was more talented than the 86 team, and yeah. both of them, Gooden and Strawberry, agree that the Mets should have won more than one. Yeah, I think that I think that 
they were the more talented team for sure, Steve. I think that for sure. What I remember, you know, because I was so young at the time, but what I remember was just being marveled at the way, me marveling at the way Strawberry hit home runs. That just way I became a fan, his swing, his power. And I was so young, I was mimicking his swing, and he was my favorite player then. Um, so, yeah, I remember, I remember that. I remember, you know, David Cohn was such a good pitcher for them at that time. They obviously had talent on that pitching staff. He had a good year that year in 88. I know, probably wasn't as aware of it at that point. But, yeah, that was a really special team that just didn't get it done. Um, and, you know, as I got older, my parents, you know, my grandmother, who was a Mets fan, and my dad, who was a Mets fan at the time, um, told me a lot about that team. So, yeah, it was, that was fun memories of that team. So I'm really happy. To, yeah, me, the, personally, as a, as a journalist now, happy to see both those guys get in for all the reasons that you mentioned, all they've been through in their life and what they've done to each other, how they've helped each other. Yeah, yeah and, and in 95, Gooden actually had a gun, held a gun to his head. And if it wasn't for his mother ripping it out of his hand, he might not be here today, but thank thank God that he survived that, and he survived everything else that he's had to survive, and now he's in in the best place possible in his life. Yeah, and I, I think, Steve, I th hope that when people read your Q&A, which I think you did a fantastic job with, I hope they can thank take you. from that first question that we just talked about, which is how much these guys mean to each other and the impact that they've had on each other's lives. I think that was one of the really key takeaways you can take from your Q&A, which you did a great job. But I got to ask you this before we get out of here, because, you know, we take, we're taking a look at the past, but when we look forward or look at this present team, what do Doc and Darrell think about the 2024 Mets? How good do they think this current Mets roster can be? Well, first of all, they're thrilled that Steve Cohen is in charge. Now, Doc Gooden had nothing but nice things to say about the Wilpons as well, but Strawberry believes that you've got to build up the farm system, and that's what Steve Cohen is doing. And he, Strawberry believes they might be a year away, which is understandable after, after the transition that they're enduring now. Um, but they've got a lot of young, talented players. And um, Doc also agrees that they're closer than people think. And, of, of course, Strawberry um, is pounding the table for the Mets to sign Pete Alonso, who has shown that he has what it takes to produce and produce big power numbers in New York. And speaking of playing in New York, uh, Gooden's, uh, Strawberry's recommendation to these Mets are block out the noise, get off social media as often as possible, and just have fun. And um, Doc knows that there's no better place to win than in New York, and he also knows that these Mets fans deserve better, and they're both both excited about the future of the Mets and, of course, the immediate present when both of them have their jerseys retired at City Field. Those are going to be some special days at City Field when both of those guys have their jerseys retired. Mets fans are going to be excited to see that. And if you're a Mets fan that is excited to see those upcoming number retirements, be sure to check out Steve's Q&A with Doc Gooden and Darryl Strawberry on NYPost.com. And look out for Steve and his coverage of the AFC Divisional Playoff with the Chiefs and the Bills, where Steve says that he will be wearing a flannel and a hoodie, which is... On to Orchard somewhere. Park. On, on to, to Orchard Park. On to Orchard Park. Okay. Stay warm and enjoy some wings in Buffalo for me, Steve, please. Yes, uh, I will. I had some wings last night, and I hope to have more wings tonight. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate you, man. Th thanks, thanks. <laughs>